I'll start with discrimination. Um, if guys earn below the threshold amount, um, they could potentially refer uh, employees, uh, sorry, employers in discrimination matters to the CCMA. In the past, uh, the matter could be conciliated and thereafter referred through uh, to the Labour Court to be heard. Uh, discrimination cases in their nature are exceptionally technical. Um, these cases will now be heard at the CCMA. Um, so it'll be interesting to see um, the CCMA rules themselves um, at the moment don't provide for damages claims, whereas the Labour Court does. So it'll be interesting to see how the CCMA commissioners themselves deal with issues around claims of damages potentially uh, and the technical issues around discrimination. On top of that also, um, I think there will, be, there will be a slew of cases in terms of the amendment of Section 198 of the Labour Relations Act. Now that involves the temporary employment service provision. Um, currently there's some confusion in the marketplace with regards to the interpretation of, it, of the legislation um, and the CCMA will dictate the future of that particular provision. Um, the, the provision provides for after three months uh, the employees of a temporary employment service provider earning below the threshold are deemed to be the employees of the employer. Now, uh, the deeming in our instance creates two extra protections, one being the ability to refer the client and the user, sorry, and the temporary employment service provider to the CCMA, and also inevitably uh, equal treatment kicking in unless there's a differential factor. Uh,